Here's how to turn Roblox into full potato graphics mode and push for 1000 plus FPS using block strap. In this video, I'll show you the exact performance tweaks, Windows settings, CPU boost tools, and the potato graphics fast flags that still work after the patch. So follow every step and your Roblox will feel way smoother. Let's jump right in. Gear Up Booster is one of the best program for optimization of your ping while you playing Roblox. Using a wired or wireless connection, get this paid program for free from my description and enjoy your game with lower ping. Step 1. Optimize Roblox for the best performance on low-end PCs. First, go to your Windows search bar and type Adjust the Appearance and Performance of Windows. When you see it in the results, click it. A window called Performance Options will open, and this is where real performance boosting starts. To make your computer faster and more responsive, select Adjust for Best Performance. This will quickly turn off all extra animations and visual effects that use CPU and RAM in the background while you are playing games. Now, if you still want your desktop to look nice and easy to read, make sure to keep these two boxes checked. Smooth edges of screen fonts. This keeps text clear and not blurry. Show thumbnails instead of icons. This helps you preview images and videos easily. After you do that, click Apply to save everything. Next, go to the Advanced tab. Under Processor Scheduling, choose Adjust for Best Performance of Programs. This makes sure your CPU focuses more on programs you are using like Roblox instead of wasting power on background tasks. Click OK, close all the windows, and that's it. Your PC is now focused on performance and ready for smoother Roblox gameplay. Step 3. Boost CPU performance by unlocking all processors for Roblox. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Now we are going to make your CPU perform better by making sure it uses OPAE, all of its power for Roblox. We will do this with a tool called Park Control. First, download and install Park Control on your computer. After it installs, open the program. Inside Park Control, you will see many options. Scroll through them and pick the power plan that gives the best performance. We recommend choosing Bitsum Highest Performance. This will make sure your CPU is not limited and can use full power while you are playing Roblox. Now change these settings. Parking AC. Set it to 100% and turn it off. Disable it. Parking DC. Set it to 100% and turn it off. Disable it. Frequency Scaling AC. Set it to 100% and turn it off. Disable it. Frequency Scaling DC. Set it to 100% and turn it off. Disable it. Now find a setting called Bitsum Dynamic Boost. Make sure this is turned on. This setting will turn off unused CPU threads when you are doing light things, like watching videos, but it will turn them back on when you are gaming, so you get the best performance possible. After that, go to your Windows Power Options and select Bitsum Highest Performance as your active plan. Make sure all CPU parking and scaling options are set to 100% for both plugged in, AC, and battery, DC modes. When everything is ready, click Make Active, then click Apply to save your changes. These steps will make sure your CPU runs at full power, especially when you play Roblox or use other programs that need high performance. Step 4. Use Block Strap. Potato Graphics. Fast flags to optimize Roblox performance. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. In this step, you will use the Block Strap Launcher and turn on a feature called Potato Graphics Fast Flags to improve performance. Start by going to the FPS Boost Pack and download the Block Strap Launcher file. When the download is finished, install the launcher on your computer. After installing it, open the Windows search bar, type Block Strap, and open it. When Block Strap opens, click Configure Settings, then go to Engine Fast Flag Settings. Scroll all the way down until you see Fast Flag. Click I know what I'm doing, then click Add New. Now open the text file that comes with the Boost Pack link. In that file, you will see the Potato Graphics Fast Flags. Potato Graphics is the best choice for most people unless your PC is extremely weak. It increases FPS, lowers lag, and improves Roblox performance. For this guide, we are using Potato Graphics Fast Flags, and I strongly recommend using them for the best performance. Copy all the text from the file, then paste it into the Fast Flags section in Block Strap and press OK. If you see any pop-ups or warning boxes, click Yes to allow them. After that, save your changes, close Block Strap, 
and open any Roblox game to enjoy smoother and faster performance. In this step, I'm going to show you a helpful tool that can make your Roblox connection more stable. First, download the Gear Up Booster tool from its official website. I've added the official link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. The first thing you'll need to do is sign in with either your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can also browse through thousands of games available for optimization. To improve your network and FPS, go back to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Roblox, click the Boost button, and the tool will automatically start optimizing the game by finding the most suitable server for you. Next, choose your server region. Always select the nearest server for the most stable connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. Now, go to the End tab where you'll see a list of servers available in your region. You can either choose the nearest one manually or let GearUp automatically pick the best option. For the best results, I recommend keeping it on automatic. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. Step 5. Use the MSI utility to improve your CPU performance for Roblox. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Another tool that can improve your system and CPU performance is called MSI Utility. Start by downloading MSI Utility from the link in the video description. After downloading, open the program. You will now see a list of your system hardware devices like your GPU, sound card, and more. This tool helps your hardware communicate with the CPU in a better way, which lowers delay and improves performance. Find your GPU model in the list. When you find it, check the box under the MSI column. Then, next to it, change the interrupt priority to high. If your PC also has an integrated GPU like Intel graphics, find that too. Check the MSI box and set its priority to high as well. After you finish this, click Apply to save the changes, then close the program. This tweak will help your PC respond faster, reduce input delay, and make Roblox run more smoothly. Step 6. Free up RAM using ISLC for Roblox. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. In this step, we will use a tool called ISLC, Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. It clears unused memory, RAM, which helps your PC run better while gaming. Start by opening the ISLC program. At the top, you will see how much total system memory you have in megabytes. Now find the setting that says free memory is lower than. In that box, type a number that is half of your total RAM. For example, if you have 32,000 megabytes of RAM, type 16,000. If you have 16,000 megabytes of RAM, type 8,000. Now check these two boxes. Start ISLC minimized. This will make it run in the background. Launch ISLC on user logon. This will make it start every time your PC turns on. Next, go to the right side of the program and turn on timer resolution. Set it to 0.50. Set the polling rate to 1000. If your PC feels laggy, you can try setting it to 10,000 instead. After you set everything, click Stop, then click Start, and then click Purge Standby List. This will free up memory that is not being used, which reduces lag and helps Roblox performance. Step 7. Clean Shader Cache and VRAM Cache. Press the Windows key, search for Disk Cleanup, and open it. Select your main drive, usually C, check the DirectX shader cache box, and click OK to confirm and start cleaning. Next, press Windows plus R and type. Percent local app. Data percent NVIDIA percent GL cache. Then press Enter. Delete everything inside this folder to remove extra files that could slow your system. After that, open command prompt as an administrator and run. ipconfig slash flush DNs to clear DNS cache. Then go to percent local app data, percent temp, and delete all files there. Restart your PC and your system will rebuild the caches. With these changes, your system will be ready for smoother, faster gameplay with less stuttering and better performance in Roblox.